Ketamine Pharmacology Before we begin some important points, ketamine is a general anesthetic agent related to the hallucinogen phencyclidine. It is an NMDA receptor antagonist. It is mostly used by intramuscular or intravenous injection. Ketamine injection is not painful. Effects appear within a minute. Recovery begins after 10 to 15 minutes and patients remain amnesic for 1 to 2 hours. Most important point, children tolerate ketamine better than adults. So some key features about ketamine. First, airway reflexes remain intact. So respiratory depression is minimal. Second, bronchodilatation occurs. So it is useful in asthma patients. Third, sympathetic stimulation occurs. So there is increase in heart rate, cardiac output and blood pressure and it is useful in patients with shock and hypovolemia. And fourth and the most important that ketamine causes dissociative anesthesia wherein the features are feeling of dissociation from one's surroundings, profound analgesia, cataleptic state, amnesia, sedation and immobility. Next some adverse effects. So ketamine causes an increase in cerebral blood flow and intracranial pressure. So it is not given in cerebral trauma or cerebrovascular accident patients. Most important, it causes emergence, delirium on recovery. So the features are hallucination, vivid dreams, delusions. This is a very unpleasant reaction and it is a main limiting factor for ketamine use. To some extent, benzodiazepine reduce the incidence of emergence delirium. Some clinical uses. So it is mostly used in short procedures such as burn dressing, skin grafting. It is used in head, neck or face surgeries. And importantly, it is used in surgery in asthma patients and hypotensive patients. So how do you remember all this information? For this, we have a trick by the letters of the word ketamine, wherein K stands for kids. It is a preferred IV anesthetic in children. E stands for emergence delirium, which occurs on recovery. T stands for dissociative anesthesia. A stands for analgesia, which is profound. M stands for minimal respiratory depression. I stands for increase in intracranial or intraocular pressure. N stands for NMDA receptor antagonist. And E stands for excellence in asthmatic patients. Thanks for watching. And if you like the content, please like, subscribe, and share the channel so that you remain updated with the latest content.